Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector. Hi everyone, and I'm Carolina. In my life, I'm always, I'm driven by symbols, and I like having things as a reference marker. Um, I've actually got this, this brace, or this necklace here, and it has, a, it's a circular with uh, French writing, and it basically says, stop and look at the clouds. And it's something, I'm, and I've got stuff like that all around me. He does. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Now, when I first came across, when I first got into niche, I came across Amouage and Journeyman. Now, as soon as I heard the name, I'm like, that's me, I'm the Journeyman. And so I actually, and I blind bought this for my wife, all right? So I gave it as, as, a, as, a, as a gift. That was brave. It was very brave <laughs> and stupid. Don't ever, no, thank goodness it worked. But anyway, I, I fell in love with the name because I like the thought, I, I see myself as a Journeyman. Mm. And I, I see myself not only, I mean, I love traveling, but I also, I'm, I'm always exploring new things. I always like... And, and he's very passionate about that. Yeah, I, I always like opening new doors. I, I mean, I, for me, it's always what's around the corner, I think is the, maybe yeah. the, the motto of my life. So Journeyman, Journeywoman, two exceptional fragrances that you're gonna love from Armage. Looking at me, boy, yeah, looking at me, girl. Yeah, looking at me, keeping that love. So what we've done for this week is, uh, in fact, this is mine and my wife's journey, man and woman. And for this episode, I, I gave, well, I lent it to, to Carolina. I test it. Yeah, so, so that she can get into the vibe of this particular fragrance. Yeah. So this fragrance, I think I would have to say it is, it's a very unique smelling scent. Right. I mean, I've got a lot, of, a lot of perfumes, but this one is in sort of a category of its own, I feel, personally. So in what way? You, you're saying it has a category of its own? I think that it, it's, it's very complex to me. I, what I'm getting, it's definitely floral, but mm. I get a lot of the tobacco-y sort mm. of um, opening, and even in the dry down. Right. Do you smell the tobacco? Yeah, well, in yeah. the dry down, the tobacco comes from. At, at this moment in time, mm. I'm getting that osmanthus, that yeah. it's, it's a, it's a, it, that there's a tea in there, or a jasmine tea, mm. there's an apricot in there. Yes. So it's not a fruity opening. No, it's definitely not a fruity opening. Yeah. It, has a, it has a lightness, and it's, but it's not a white flower opening. You know? No, Do no, and that's why I'm saying it's very unique. Yeah. That at first I, I was sort of like, well, what's what's this under? Does this go under anything? Actually, the category is floral amber. In the old days, it was categorized as floral oriental. Right, but I but I find that it's not a really true oriental. No, there's like a smokiness, right. very uh, a slight sort of spice to it. Mm. I think I can smell the nutmeg coming through, mm. a tobacco-y sort of mm. hint in the base. Yeah, I was gonna say on the dry down, yeah. the tobacco really yeah. starts to come yeah. through. Yeah, so it's one of those fragrances. If you want to stand out, mm. if you don't want to be wearing what everyone else is wearing this is the fragrance in the top note you're looking at osmanthus cardamom nutmeg jasmine tea apricot then in the heart is jasmine mosa and honey then in the base you're looking at cedarwood cipriol musk tobacco saffron and vanilla the the perfumer is alberto morillas and i mm. am a big fan for me he's a rock star when it comes to the perfume world have a look at this link yeah. i did a um i spoke about a friend another fragrance that he has but he's one of those just, he's a master perfumer, just... Attention to detail. Oh my God, and his fragrances, you'll be surprised. Go in and, and research Alberto Morillas and you'll realize mm. that this man has done, I mean, number one hits everywhere, you know? So it's an all day fragrance. Right. And I think the silage as well is actually quite um, high the moderate. Right. But I think the Amouage collection, they just last. They last and last. I, I find that the Amouage do make exceptional fragrances. The ingredients that they have are, are pretty punchy. You know? yeah. I like what Carolina said earlier. It has, a, it's a very complex fragrance. It is. I think there's three stages to this yeah, fragrance. absolutely. There's like the start, the middle, and then the dry down. And in the dry down, what are you getting? I really smell a tobacco-y sort of dry down smell and, and a slight sort of spicy scent. So off camera, as we were talking about the fragrances, mm -hmm. you did mention that there was a a slight honey, honey cord or something. Yes, yeah. Mm. But but not a sticky, gooey honey. Mm. This is a floral honey. Mm. But that's definitely in the dry down. Mm. With that sort of light spice, um, woody note, but there's definitely the honey that gives that sweetness. Yeah, yeah. But very unique. That's, I mean, I think if one word to sum this one up, it's a unique scent. Absolutely. And look, even now, 
we're not even into the dry downs. I'm still getting oh. the Osmanthus. I'm still getting that jasmine tea. I'm still getting that apricot that's in there. We won't be down to the dry down until maybe two hours from now. Right. I do love the amouages for that. You know, you really, you can actually enjoy them as a journey mm. as they progress through. It's uh, an experience. It is an experience. Yes. Now, let me tell you about, that was, that was just one fragrance we like, spent three hours. <laughs> my turn, my turn. So it, in full disclosure, yes, I was drawn to the name, but I did smell it. I mean, I did ex experience it. On the first spray, I was in instantly in love and I'm like, you know, uh, cash me up. What does they say? You know, check me up, check it in. Oh um, no. Um, Buy it, do it. Sign me up, no. <laughs> Sign me up. No, I'll what? take my money. Take my money. <laughs> take my it's money. It's one of those. <laughs> That's, it's shut up and take my money. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Mm. Beautiful. That's beautiful. This one is, don't you think? Yeah, it has it does. presence and it commands. This is mm. baritone, this is, mm. you know? Yeah. Okay, so now Epic Man, the one we did last week, also commands attention. It's a very, yep. I feel like a very presence, masculine. Yep. yep. But it was, it had a, a forest-like quality to it. Mm. It was fresh. Yeah, piney, yep. Whereas this one here is spicy. It is. There's a strong level of yes. spice kicking yep. through. There is an incense quality. I mean, for me, I find that for me, the cardamom really pops, mm. and I almost feel like there's like an anise sort of. That's what I'm picking up on. But there's no anise that I've seen in the notes. Right. So it could be the incense. Could be the cardamom. I think it's the incense. And then. the incense playing yep. together. Yeah. Opening notes are bergamot, neroli, cardamom, and juniper berry. Then in the heart, we're looking at geranium and incense. Then in the base, we're looking at cipriol, leather, ambrox, tobacco, and tonga bean. When this dries down, it does go into that the tobacco component of it but it also uses the cypriol. And I find that the cypriol gives it a, a bay leaf kind of quality to it. Herby almost? A little bit herby, mm. still spicy, um, but it gives it, um, gives it a freshness, but it's still quite, even with the leathers, the ambrox. Earthy or, almost, the base? Um, it's not so much earthy as it is more, it, it's, it, it, it's, it stays in that spice. Right. It stays in that sort of very masculine spice. Oriental. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice. Again, we're still in the opening, mm. but but again, that tobacco does play, and I love that the, that Alberto has used tobacco in both. And this is again, we spoke last week about um, Epic Man and Epic Woman, and how they're all, they're almost like a silhouette mm. of each other. They use some similar notes so that the man and the woman can wear it together and um, complement. And they it's it com yeah. correct. It blends beautifully together. For me, I find that this fragrance is pretty long lasting. I'm getting probably six seven plus eight hours i mean it's it, it again i'm washed yeah it, it does have a nice longevity to it mm -hmm. its sillage is also very good i'm getting a nice trail its projection is probably sitting around the moderate um again this is another one where i can spray someone comes into the office and they're like whoa i can and i'm picking up yeah. that fragrance uh, it is a confidence booster for me as i said i use this as my journey fragrance if yeah. i'm starting something new and this is my olfactory connection. Yes, yeah. So I'm starting something new. Oh, Journeyman is part of that that journey. Mm. If I'm going somewhere, well, pre-COVID when we were allowed to fly, mm. um, when I was going somewhere, Journeyman was actually my first spray that I would go to the plane with. Mm, wow. I would so take a different fragrance. You went a lot of places, so. <laughs> this was my companion. So it, it, and again, it's about, for me, it's about the symbolisms in my life mm. and Journeyman is that symbolism. Next week, we're gonna talk about further symbolism so you've got this beautiful crown on the women's fragrances and this other beautiful crown or lid on the men's but we're going to talk about that next week if you are interested in any of the armoires know that libertine perfumery are supporting my channel nfc is the code now they're throwing in as a gift with purchase either a man discovery set or a woman's discovery set and it will come along with your order thank you thank you see you guys bye everyone